Hello friends, welcome back to Gate Shot Trick Series. This is Vinayado back with another trick in signal system. Today we are going to see the trick to find linear and non-linear type of system. So in this video, we are not going to see the trick directly. We will derive the trick by this sums. Okay. So let's see the first sum. First sum says that y of t is equals to x of t into cos t. So Let's use the traditional way first. So the traditional way says that to check for linear and non-linear system, your system should satisfy two criteria. First, that your system should satisfy homogeneity, homogeneity principle, and your and the second criteria is that your system should follow additivity, additivity principle. Okay. So homogeneity principle says that. If let's say your input is x of t, your output is y of t. If you are applying input as alpha x of t, then you should get output as alpha y of t. Same factor should, which is multiplied with your input, should get multiplied with your output too. This is what homogeneity principle says. Additivity principle says that sum of output of individual inputs, individual inputs, individual inputs should be equals to output. Output of all the inputs given simultaneously. Okay, so let's see this thing by this concept. Let's say you are getting y of one of t when you apply x one of t as an input. You are getting y of two of t when you apply x two t as an input. You are getting y three of t when you apply all the inputs simultaneously. So that will be x one of t plus x two of t. So if you Add the output y1 of t plus y2 of t. If this is equals to y3 of t, then you will say that your system satisfy your additivity principle. So let's use this thing in your sum. So your sum was that y of t is equals to x of t into cos t, right? So first. You will check for homogeneity. So in homogeneity, you are going to replace x t with alpha x t. So it will be alpha x of t into cos t, right? So this is nothing but alpha y t, right? Since this is equals to y of t, so you can say that your new output is equals to alpha y t. So that's why the system satisfies your homogeneity principle. Now let's check for uh, additivity. So for additivity, what we will do is We will get uh, the y1 of t when we apply x1 of t as an input. So here it will be x1 of t into cos of t. We will get y2 of t when we apply input as x2 of t into cos t. We will get y3 of t when we apply all the inputs simultaneously. So it will be x1 of t plus x2 of t in bracket cos of t, right? Now, if we try to add this y1 of t and y2 of t, what we will get as y1 of t plus y2 of t is equals to x1 of t cos t multiplied is equals to x1 of t into cos t plus x2 of t into cos t. So it will be x1 of t plus x2 of t since cos t is common in those equations. So it will be x1 of t plus x2 of t multiply with cos of t so if you see this two equation this two equation is same so that's why we will say that our system is a linear system okay till now we have not derived any trick okay let's solve this second sum and try to derive the trick second sum is that your output is y of t is equals to x of t into cos of t and some constant is added in your system okay so uh, when you check for homogeneity homogeneity you will simply replace your xt with alpha x of t multiply by cos of t plus 3 so if you see this thing you have alpha x of t cos of t plus 3 it is not alpha x of t cos of t plus alpha 3 so if this was then you can write as alpha y of t but here it is not alpha is not present with 3 so you can't write it as alpha y of t so that means that this system does not follow homogeneity principle only so that's why you can say that this system 
won't be a linear system even if you check for um, additivity principle you will get the same thing okay if you add if you add this two equation here we you will get plus six and if you see this equation you will have only plus three okay so that's why the system won't even follow the additivity principle so you can say that this system any system in which constant is added then your system will be non-linear system and this is what it is our trick okay so any system with constant added that will be directly non-linear system okay so this was the first trick now let us use this trick uh, in the advanced sum let's say you have a third sum as y of t equals to x of t cos of t plus 3 cos of t if you try to solve this system by the trick here you can see that your input is multiplied with function cos of t and here you are having some extra function which is independent of your input okay so this is nothing but constant for us okay so we will see that this system is also non-linear system okay now let us see some more advanced sum let's say we have an integration so let's say we have a fourth sum as y of t equals to x of t cos of t and you have limits as minus infinity to t okay if you use our trick in the system you can say that uh, this your input is not added with any extra constant or function so you can say that your system is linear system if you want to verify it you can also verify it okay uh, let's say if you try to check for homogeneity so here you will add minus infinity to et you will apply alpha xt instead of xt so it will be alpha xt into cos of t you can take alpha outside so it will be minus infinity to t alpha x of t into cos of t this is nothing but your alpha y of t so it satisfies homogeneity okay again if you try to check for additivity here you will get minus infinity to t this is why your y1 of t when you apply x1 of t cos of t if when you apply x2 of t you will get y2 of t minus infinity to t x2 of t into cos of t right and when you apply x1 of t plus x2 of t simultaneously so you will get y3 of t minus infinity to t x1 of t plus x2 of t bracket multiply with cos of t since your integration is a linear operator so you can separate this term so it will be minus infinity to t x1 of t cos of t plus minus infinity to t x2 of t cos of t okay so this is your y3t and if you try to add this to equation y1 of t plus y2 of t you will get integration my x1 of t cos of t plus integration x2 of t cos of t which is nothing but this equation so you can say that your system is linear by the traditional way also by your trick so your trick also implies with the integration and differentiation for differentiation you will see the same thing as because in differentiation also your differential operator is a linear operator you can separate the terms in the differentiation also you can take constant outside the differentiation as of integration okay so you can say that your system with integrator and differentiator also follow your trick okay if your system equation was somewhat like y of t integration of minus infinity to t x of t cos of t plus let's say some constant plus 3 so then you will find out that your system will be non-linear directly you can even verify it you can check and let me know in the comment box so this was it from my side where i have shown you the trick to check for linear and non-linear system directly just to check whether your input is added with any constant or not okay so that's it from my side thank you guys